Once upon a time, there was a rich and beautifully dressed lady who felt incredibly empty and sad after her husband passed away. She found herself all alone in her large house surrounded by expensive things, fancy cars, luxurious furniture, exquisite cutlery, perfumes, carpets, and more. Despite having all these precious possessions, she felt that her life had lost its meaning. After some deep thinking, she decided to seek help and find a way to be truly happy. She consulted a counselor who had a plan to help her discover real and lasting happiness. The counselor asked Mary, an elderly lady who worked as a cleaner in the office, to share her story of finding happiness. The counselor told the rich lady to listen carefully to Mary's story. So Mary sat down, put aside her broom, and began to speak. I faced some really tough times in my life. My husband passed away because of a sickness, and just three months later, my only son died in a car accident. I was left all alone with nothing. I couldn't sleep, eat, or find any joy in life. I even thought about ending my own life. But then one day, a little dog followed me home from work. I felt sorry for that tiny creature, so I decided to let it inside. I gave it some milk, and the dog seemed so happy, purring and rubbing against my leg. For the first time in months, I smiled. Mary continued, That got me thinking. If making a little dog happy could make me smile, perhaps doing something kind for people could bring me even more happiness. So, the next day, I baked some cookies and took them to a neighbor who was unwell. Every day I tried to do something nice for someone, and seeing their happiness made me even happier. Today I can't think of anyone who sleeps and eats better than I do. By giving happiness to others, I found my own. Hearing Mary's story, the rich lady couldn't hold back her tears. She had everything money could buy, but had lost the things that money couldn't purchase. True happiness and a sense of purpose. Friends, in our journey through life, we often chase after material possessions, success and wealth, believing that these are the keys to happiness. Yet, this story reminds us that genuine happiness comes from within, from the act of giving and making a positive difference in the lives of others. This story teaches us that the true beauty of life isn't measured by how happy we are, but by how much happiness we can bring to others. The simple act of making someone else smile can fill our lives with meaning and joy.